Hello everybody, my name is Alan from CyberLab and today I will show how you can install Proxmox in your computer. In this video I will go to the basic installation, how you can install Proxmox and how to do the first storage. I will not show anything else because I don't want it to be a really long video, but in the next videos I will go for each step slowly and that I will go through all the requirements and all the things that you need to do in order to have your VM. Now you're gonna ask, okay, you talk a lot of words, but I don't know what's Proxmox and why you're gonna use it. In the other videos, I show how you can use Orco Cloud to create some virtual machines. As well, I show how you can use a virtual box to create some virtual machines. Proxmox is only another application that you can create a virtual machines, but it's not basically it. It's not only an application, it's iOS and that with this one you have a lot of uh, options. You can use as a data center and have different computers, different servers connected to this one and that uh, in this way one computer will work with another one and that will make more interaction and be a big virtual machine. As well, you can use it with uh, more firewalls or more configurations than you're gonna use only in your virtual box. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show exactly in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel and let's see how we can do it. Before we start to install Proxmox and go through the steps for the installation, we're gonna come in the website and see what Proxmox is capable to do. So first of all, you need to decide which revision, which option of Proxmox that you want. In our case, we're gonna use the virtual environmental, but as well, Proxmox have the Proxmox backup server and Proxmox mail gateway. This virtual environment will allow you to create different machines for different applications. So you can have one virtual machine that will be running Windows, other virtual machine that will be running Linux, and other virtual machine that will run other applications. You can have different virtual machines work according to your demand or necessity. You don't need to use only one computer only for that specific application. You can have different. The same idea that you're gonna have with the Docker, but more focus for the US application. Then you're gonna ask Alan, how much costs this application? It will say that this application is open source. So you can have the option to use only the community and you can do the installation for yourself and construct everything in your way and then you're not gonna pay anything. But if you are a company, you always have the option for an enterprise company where you can pay a subscription, where you're gonna allow you to have all the assistance. So we'll have uh, some people that can help you with your problems. If you choose this community option, you not have this one. As well, you can have a lot of videos, so I'm not the only one that's posting videos about Proxmox, but you can have a lot of tutorials and video how to do the installation. So you, once that you install, you don't need to follow me anymore. You can go for these videos and it will be easy for you. Or you can follow me anyway, that will be better for me, you know? Anyway, we come here and we go for the virtualization. The virtualization, you have a lot of fixtures, a lot of comparison, but so what we're gonna look, we're gonna look for our page. What they show, they show a different uh, computer, different systems, and here the power processor for each one and how is the performance. Remember that we go to the Oracle Cloud and they have the metrics where you can see how much is using for each virtual machine or for overall system. Yes, you're gonna have exactly the same. You can have an idea how well or how bad or how it's going for your system. Have this one in mind, now we come here in our download. In our download, we can download different options, but what we're gonna choose is this virtual environmental. So I come here and choose the VE. In my case, I'm downloading the option 7.1, but I believe that you're gonna see this video in the future. I don't know which revision that you're gonna use. Maybe it's already 7.2 or continue on, but in our case will be 7.1. I don't believe that will change too much depend of the revision. We we'll change after the application, but not so much the installation. So this installation will be fine for a long, long time. So I will download it. 
and then I will need to install my computer. In my case, because I don't have a capture card, I will need to choose a virtual machine. But I don't advise you to use a virtual machine to install Proxmox because it will not work as expected and you're gonna end up with some issues or some application that will not work as you want. As you're gonna install in a computer, you're gonna need a flash drive. This flash drive is 32 gigabytes. You can have a basic 8 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes that will be enough. And as well, you're gonna ask which hard drive or which system that I can install. Yes, you can install in another USB but I will tell why you should not do it. USB is not rated for a long time running. So if you install an USB, at some point in time, they will stop to work, they will crash because they are not made to stay 20 by seven and continue on. They are made to run, to get some information, store and keep here. So I suggest you to get any other hard drive. Don't they need to be a proper SSD because either hard drive will work well because a hard drive will have enough power and they will not use so much for US. You wanna use the rest of hard drive where you're gonna install the virtual machines. So now we can put this USB and that's we're gonna open Balena Edge. In the Balena Edge, we need to define what US that you're gonna install. In our case, we're gonna use the Proxmox 7.1 ISO as well your target. So we select the target and put flash. As this USB already done it, I can close it and now we're gonna do our installation. I have here 9.2 gigabytes of RAM. I have uh, four cores for my CPU. I habilitate my pra virtualization, otherwise it will not work at all this installation. As well, I have uh, three hard drives. One of those is 32 gigabytes where I'm gonna install the US, basically to simulate my USB. And that I have more two hard drives that is connected to this one. Have this one in place, now I can start my virtual machine and wait for the first page. Once that you started the installation, you're gonna see this page. So I can come in this option, install Proxmox V, and that's uh, we're gonna start to do our basic configuration. Now they will show your license agreement. I suggest you to read it. But if you don't accept it, you cannot go for the next step. So we're gonna come here and put I agree. Here it's the time that you need to decide which hard drive that you're gonna install. I suggest you to mark it or remove the rest of hard drive for avoid that you install the wrong one. But we're gonna install this 32 because I already defined it for it. As well, you can come here in option and you can define uh, different uh, ways for installation. Look like CFS. If you have two hard drives, you can put as a rate uh, one, or if you have a two and you want to be more fast, you can go for RAID zero and continue on. In our case, we're gonna leave the standard one, but you always have the option to change it. As well, you can resize it, but we're not gonna do it because I don't advise for install any virtual machine in directly in US. So I will leave okay and I put next. Here next, I needed to define my location. So we'll put unit kingdom. London, United Kingdom, that's fine for me. I will put next. Now you're gonna create our password. This password is important for you because it will be the root password. So don't forget it. And don't use an easy password because this one will guarantee that your server is safe. In our case, we're gonna put an easy password because it's only a virtual machine and after this video, we'll raise it and we're going to install in a physical computer. So it's totally fine. As well, it's advised for you create your email. So we'll put user sauberlab at gmail.com and I will put next. Now we need to do some base configuration. What I need to do, I need to define the name of the host. So we'll put sauberlab and I will leave it as local domain, it's totally fine for me. My IP address is the one that will be configured. Try to have this IP address matching for your router because it will be easy for you. But you can do anything that you want. If you have more than one connection, I suggest you to decide which one that you want and stick on this. Because after you configure it, they will have problem if you try to modify it. So I have my host defined, my IP address defined, and now I can put next. And that they will have overview. Be sure that everything is correct in the way that you want and that now you can come and put install. Remember, if you did some mistake, you always can come back and install again. It's not a problem. It's not only one off. You can install as many as you want. So now it's time to wait it. One thing that's quite interesting that I saw, it's container virtualization, only one or 3% of usage. If you're using Proxmox, you're gonna lose between one and 3% of your capacity. So they're not losing so much. So this reason that they say that's quite light. So now let's wait 
to finish the installation and that we can go for the next step. So your system will request to restart. Remember, you need to remove your flash drive, otherwise you're not gonna go in this page. They will try to reinstall it. So you don't need to do anything, it's only wait until they will appear the correct IP address for you to log in. So you can make the login as a root and put your password, the same one that you defined before. But in our case, we're gonna use the web browser because it's more visual for us. To do it, we're gonna need to access this IP address. HTTPS 2 dot slash slash 192.68.1.86 2 dots 8006 is exactly the same address IP's address defined when you install your machine. So now we can open our web browser and do this login. First time that you try to look in it, they will appear that see, your connection is not private and that you need to come here and put procedure. Why they appear it? Because you don't have a valid SSL certification. They will try to find it, but they don't have, so they say, wait, it's not safe. Don't enter in this one because they don't have SSL certification. So you can come here and proceed. If you already defined and set this SSL certification with the proxy manager, yes, it will not appear it. But in our case, it will appear and it will not set up it at this stage. So I come here and put proceed. Now they will ask you to do the login for your virtual environmental. We're gonna look in as a root and that we're gonna put exactly the same password defined before. Once that you log in, they will appear this page that your subscription is not valid for this server. Don't worry, this one will be only necessary if you're using a enterprise. If you're using for yourself and don't want to have any assistance for the Proxmox, it's totally fine, you don't need to have the subscription because it's open source, totally free, so I can come here and put OK. In this case, I have one node and two storage. Remember that I told that you can have more than one node or more than one computer. If you come here in data center, it will be the general overview. So in this way, you can do some configuration that will affect all the nodes or all the computers that's connected to this data center. So in this way, you can see how many nodes. In my case, I have a node called CyberLab. You can see what's the storage. In this case, I have two local storage that relate from the server lab. As well, you can put some comments. You have the summaries or the status, what is going on. So I have only one node and a zero offline. As well, I have four CPU that's using 0%. I am using only one gigabyte and I use uh, 4.47 for my total capacity. Remember that I told that you don't need to have a high capacity for your SES yes, because they use less than three gigabytes. I believe that with more data, you're gonna use a little bit more, but it's not so much more. As well, your note, you have your IP address for your note. As well, you can do some notes. You can have the cluster, different storage that we're gonna configure in the next videos, backups, replicant. This repl replicant, it means that will be replicant between two nodes. So you're gonna need the second node. You can define some permission, user, two factors authentications, some firewall, some options that you can define. And that's if you come here in the node, it's specific for your server. So here in the node, I have two local storage and here will appear all the information. So if you have two, three virtual machines, they will appear here, the virtual machines. Now we can come here in our CFS. Yes, this system uses CFS. Remember that one of the videos that I show how to install through NAS, I told that it's good to use CFS and why it's good. Yes, because your FS is more safe, it's more protected, and you have a lots of other options that you can do with the system. So to create our first storage, we come here and create CFS, and that's we define the name. So we put local slash ZFS, and now I can select my hard drive. Remember, this hard drive only show here if it's totally clean. If you have any configuration, this hard drive will not work as expected and that will not do the way that you want. So we need to leave it clean. And now I will define as a mirror. If I want to have more than one hard drive, I can define with different rates configuration. But in my case, I want a mirror bef between these two hard drive because in the case one of those fail, I still have the second one. And now I can come here and define the order that I want. So I will put one and two. Why it's good to have this order, at least for you organize and see how we work the parity. In the mirror, not affect so much, but you have a rate five, maybe will affect a little bit more. And it's good for you to define which hard drive is which, because in this way, you can mark that uh, S and B or C will be these part numbers or these zero numbers in the case that one of those start to be bad or fail you know what's going on and will be protected. So I come here and put great. 
Once that is done, the red appear online and they say zero fragmented. And now you have your first storage. So in this video, I show how to do the installation and how to configure your first uh, storage. In the next videos, I will go more about the installation, everything. Remember, if installing a virtual machine, they will work, but will not work as expected and you have a lot of limitation. So think before you try to do everything in the virtual machine, but always you can only try to install the basic and see how it's work. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and see you next time.